Hi, welcome to Pizza Hut. That's right, from this presentation, you are going to learn how to make a delicious pizza real quick. From the previous multi-threading presentation on synchronization, you have learned how threads can block each other using synchronized methods and blocks. From this presentation, we will learn how threads can communicate with each other using the methods wait, notify, and notify all that are available to every Java class from uh, which they inherit from java.lang.object. For the purpose of this presentation, let's assume that we are working on a pizza making application which automates the entire pizza making process right from uh, the customer choosing the toppings, his favorite toppings for the pizza to baking the pizza and handing it over back to the customer. For efficiency reasons, we have split this application, the responsibility of this application into two threads. One, the customer facing thread, which allows the customer to, to choose his favorite pizza toppings. And then the baking thread, which bakes the pizza. And the customer facing thread, at the end of uh, at the end of it will hand over the pizza to the customer when the customer facing thread is taking or making a list of all the toppings that the end user is choosing it has the lock on the pizza to be object so here is our synchronizer to block here is the pseudo code for it so the customer facing thread uh, makes a list of all the favorite toppings for a particular customer within the synchronized block of its run method. And then once the customer is done choosing the toppings, it calls the wait method on the pizza object so that it can go to the wait pool. When the customer facing thread calls the wait method, the JVM puts the customer facing thread into a wait pool from, from its running state, it goes into a wait pool. And then the baking thread can take over the object's lock and bake the pizza. Put the pizza in the oven and bake it. So here is the pseudocode for the bake thread. At the end of baking, once the pizza is ready, the, bake, the baking thread will invoke the notify method, which tells or which notifies all the other threads in the wait pool that it's done with the pizza object and they can take over. In our case, the customer facing thread will once again take the lock from the baking thread and hands the pizza back to the customer. That's how easy two threads can communicate using the wait and notify methods. So one thread, the first thread will give up the lock on an object calling the wait method voluntarily and it goes into the wait pool and some other thread can take over that particular object's lock and when the second thread is done with its job, it invokes the notify method which will notify all the thread, which will notify one thread which is waiting on that object. If there are more than one threads waiting for a particular object, then we can use the notify all method, in which case the JVM will let all the objects in the waiting pool which are waiting on that particular object. And the order in which the objects will come out of the waiting pool is not guaranteed. So if there are more than one threads in the waiting pool which are waiting on the same object, it's up to the JVM to choose which one will get back to the runnable state and attain the lock on that particular object. There are a few rules which guide thread communication. That is, the wait, notify, notify all should always be invoked from a synchronized context. That is, we, uh, they should be called either from a synchronized block or a synchronized method and they should have the lock on that particular object. If not, the JVM, JVM will throw a illegal monitor state exception. When the wait method is called, that thread will right away give, give, the lock, give away the lock and goes to the waiting pool. But it's not the case, case with the notify method. And then a uh, notify method is called from within a synchronized block. That thread will still run until the end of the synchronized method and then it gives the lock away. Uh, going back to our example, when the baking thread is having the lock on the pizza object, it can do some cleanup work. It can clean up the oven before it handles over the lock back. So in case of wait, the lock is given right away. But in case of notify, it will take a little bit depending on uh, the code you have within the synchronizer block. To summarize, from this presentation, you have learned 
how two threads can communicate using the wait notify and notify all methods and a wait is called a thread voluntarily gives up a lock on a particular object and goes to the wait pool the JVM puts it in the wait pool and another thread can take over that particular object's lock and do whatever it wants to do with it at the end of it the second thread will invoke the notify method which will notify the previous thread which was in the wait pool and the JVM will put it back to the runnable state and always remember that wait, notify, notify all should be called from within a synchronized context. I'm sure you are hungry for a pizza now. Go grab one. Take care. Thanks for watching.